Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Natasha, AKA Wellness Diva Chronicles Keto. And I must confess, this is officially the week of the keto noodles. These companies are doing such an amazing job and I'm excited to share this lasagna recipe with you. You are gonna wanna make it tonight. By the way, make sure to hit that notification bell if you love the videos because my subbies have been saying that they're not seeing my videos in their feed. Okay, so to get started, I minced up some green peppers and white onion and sauteed that in curry gold butter in a pan. I cooked the green pepper and onion over a medium heat, just stirring it occasionally to make sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Then we're gonna go in with some fresh garlic. FYI, I minced the garlic and just as a deeper tip, put the garlic in towards the end of the sauteing process or else it will burn. I then spritz the pan with a little bit of nonstick spray to make sure to make sure the meat doesn't stick. I was looking for 80-20, but I found the leaner meats and grabbed that. So I'm trying to make up for the fat. I then went ahead and seasoned the grass-fed meat with some kosher coarse sea salt. A bit more of that fresh chopped garlic. A generous sprinkling of my favorite flavor god garlic lovers some onion powder a dash of oregano Give the first layer of seasoning, salt, and meat a good stir, and then we're gonna go ahead and season again. I then added the green pepper and onion mixture that was sauteed in curry gold salted butter to the beef mix and make sure that's well combined. Then go ahead and saute the beef mixture in a skillet over medium heat or so. There's already a little bit of nonstick spray in the pan. I spritzed it earlier. Just go ahead and mix that in the pan. Let it get a chance to set up and brown a bit. Feel free to use sausage at this point if you have it on hand and sear that. I had this uncured Applegate Farms turkey bacon, or pepperoni rather, which I love so much. It's incredibly flavorful. So I chopped four servings of that, which is 16 rounds, into the mix. Then just go ahead and give the meat mixture a nice little stir, help it to combine as you saute it, and let some of that moisture cook out of the meat. You could use ricotta cheese in this stage, but I ran out, so I decided to make a cream sauce. It reminded me so much of a bechamel without the flour. I was super impressed. Let me show you how I made it. So I added about a tablespoon of Kerrygold salted butter along with a third of a cup of heavy cream, and then about a quarter cup or so of Italian blend cheese. Mix that all together, but then decided it wasn't creamy enough, went back in with another ounce of cream cheese. You'll see. Then go ahead and give it another good stir to make sure that that cream cheese is all dissolved and combined. Then we're gonna go in with some more flavor god. Make sure that you're stirring this white sauce constantly. It requires that or else it will burn, so do not walk away. Just continuously stir the sauce until all the elements are combined equally. Now we can start building a lasagna. If I haven't mentioned it on the channel before, I love the Rouse pizza sauce, marinara sauce, and everything else they make. It's very low carb. So I chose to use that in this recipe. Just go ahead and lay that sauce down equally and prepare a nice juicy base for the noodles. By the way, the brand that I'm using called Natural Heaven is only made from hearts of palm. It just has that one ingredient. 
I never knew that this would be so much like noodles, like real lasagna noodles. They also make a spaghetti and I think a fettuccine. I'll double check for you guys and post information down in the description box. But I, I am so impressed right now. Just like with a low carb bread company, these companies that are catering to the keto community are really doing their job right now. I'm impressed. Truthfully, in between us, I didn't want to experience a letdown after the victory with the low carb bread companies, elbow noodles and that mac and cheese. And let me tell you something, these folks with this noodle company, they delivered as well. Hmm. I promise you guys it's getting easier to be on a ketogenic diet and still eat all the traditional carb-like dishes that you once loved. You're just not going to gain weight from doing it because like the carbs are so low. Like how? How is this possible? I'm still... Uh, look. <laughs> you guys know I'm in love with this right now because I barely have words. I would just suggest getting the noodles, making this. Your whole family is going to love it. Also, in addition to the recipe for the cream sauce, which is fantastic, it can be used in so many other recipes as well, I'll leave the entire recipe for the lasagna down below in the description box, so go check that out. There will also be links for all the products used there below. Also, I would be remiss if I didn't take a minute out to shout out my girl, Miss Wilma Nicole Beauty. You can find her on Instagram. She's an amazing photographer and makeup artist. She came through in the clutch this week. My camera broke in half, lost my whole lens. Sis brought one up for me just to show support and love. I appreciate her so much. Go check her out on Instagram, Wilma Nicole Beauty. Okay, so we're just gonna keep building our lasagna. Let's put some more flavor gut on there after we added a little bit more of that pizza sauce by Rouse. That Rouse pizza sauce is amazing. I would suggest using that one over others. It's very low in carbs and it's incredibly flavorful. Then we're gonna go ahead and add some more of the meat. Get some of that delicious cream sauce on there too. You don't wanna leave that out. I would even consider breaking tradition and using this in my previous video, my mama's mac and cheese gone keto. This would be a delicious sauce to add and just toss the noodles in for the mac and cheese. Trust me on that one. Give it a try, post below if you do, or on the other video for the mac and cheese. And spread that cream sauce around evenly as you would the rest of the ingredients we want all that flavor evenly distributed and then we're gonna keep layering our amazing veggie noodles they are not as chewy as regular noodles but it doesn't matter you will not notice it is fantastic they are amazing you're gonna have a good time with this if you are a lasagna lover like me or a pasta lover like me and you're on keto this is a game changer, just trust me, don't think about it, just go ahead and make it. I'll definitely have this Rouse Pizza Marinara in my cart for my next order on Amazon, but in addition to that, I need some more marinara and they also have an Alfredo sauce and I was able to get the spaghetti noodle version of this company's noodles and I'm excited to try that out for you. So comment below if you would like it to be a shrimp Alfredo, chicken Alfredo, what do you want me to do? I'm open to it, just let me know. So go ahead and just keep topping until we finish the lasagna. It's just a little bit more of the pizza sauce and then some more of the cheeses. And we're almost good to go. We're about to put it in the oven and you're almost ready to have the most delicious lasagna you've ever had on keto or maybe otherwise. Then go ahead and add about six teaspoons of butter. I use Kerrygold salted butter to the top. I do this also with the mac and cheese. It really adds to the flavor profile and it just helps it brown a little bit more. It's delicious. I would advise making sure you do this step. Much as was the case with the Mama's Mac and Cheese recipe, 
we're gonna go ahead and place this lasagna into another pan that's about halfway filled with water to help it steam, but it will also crisp up nicely on the top. Then I go ahead and top it with some more seasonings, some oregano, some coarse kosher sea salt. Then I bake the casserole at 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. It all depends on the heat level of your oven. Just keep checking it after about the 20 minute mark. You're just really trying to melt the cheese at this point. Everything else contained in the lasagna is already cooked. And there you have it, keto lasagna! By the way, as a side note, the leftovers taste better day after day.